It's right there. <laughs> Or the same underwear for a week. I feel like you do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all, got some exciting stuff to do today. Nanny's wanting us to come help her decorate for fall, which I'm super excited about. But before that, I'm gonna get dressed up, get pretty, because Nanny's also gonna watch the kiddos for a couple hours while Shane and I do a cheap date day where we go call in food and bring it home and chill. I also have this like hand cast thing I want him to do with me. It's just gonna be a fun day in general. Building finger statues. Sounds kind of fun. It's already late in the day though, so I need to go ahead and get ready so when Shane gets home, we can just leave and go to Nanny's. I don't quite know why y'all have asked for a tutorial. Some of you guys have asked for a makeup tutorial. I don't know why because <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm a good catfish. I get that. I've been told that a lot. <laughs> I, I pride myself in my catfish abilities. <laughs> but, but I am messy. I'm a messy, messy makeup kind of person. Like, I'll have streaks down my neck and, like, I just, I get over it really quickly, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be as least streaky as possible, but honestly, halfway through doing my makeup, I'm over it because <laughs> my attention's done went somewhere else. I usually just half butt do it. I'm gonna try to do it good uh, for the sake of this video <laughs> today. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. I ain't gonna gatekeep any secrets, but there are definitely better, more uh, makeup savvy people you can follow for, for tutorials than myself. In the least bit, this is for entertainment purposes. <laughs> so let's see what we can do with, with this. I'm also gonna do my hair. Don't know what I'm gonna do yet though. Am I gonna go edgy? I go edgy a lot whenever Shane and I go on date days. Do a lot of black, do a lot of dramatic stuff on the face. Am I gonna do that or go folly? Cause it's fall time and nanny got me a fall time like this cute little fall time vest shirt thing for my birthday and i really want to wear that because nanny has good clothing skills so she picks out really pretty clothes i really want to wear that and it'll be more comfy i think than going edgy because edgy i'd be wearing jeans and with the thing nanny got me i'll be wearing leggings comfort comfort over anything but food comfort i do need to shave my mustache though i've been letting this sucker grow out they're going to cast me for duck dynasty if i don't take care of it i don't know where my weed eater is uh, that nanny got me. Nanny got me a face weed eater and I don't know where it's at. We're just gonna have to use a heads trimmer. That's what we'll call this. I'm sure there are so many other things that I could have picked to use for this, but it's either this or scissors. I don't feel like that's doing a good job. Actually, it's doing a great job. You should see the hairs. For those of you guys who are so nice to me in the comments and say, Marina, you don't have a mustache. Right there it is. Can y'all see it yet? It's right there. <laughs> At least it gets the job done. That kind of stings. <laughs> Do I got a goatee I need to take care of? No. All right, good. That kind of that kind of burns. I don't suggest doing that. Mm. Watch me get like road rash on my upper lip. <laughs> that would be a look. I look really different in the viewfinder and in the mirror. That's eerie. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and put my eyeballs in because I can't see to do anything eyeshadow related or eye related without that. I use this baby skin to make my skin feel like a baby. It just kind of like, I use a lot because it fills in all the craters and it's supposed to like take care of the pores. It really does whenever you put your foundation on, you can tell a difference. But I also use the e.l.f face primer too it's the poreless one that's a good one i've used a nyx one before but the baby face one you can find at the dollar general and it works really good i use this matte finish spray it's a set and spray but i use it to wet my sponge because i don't want to walk it to the sink <laughs> and then i put my maybelline fit me makeup on it is the best drugstore they call it drugstore i don't know why they call it drugstore makeup like for cheaper makeup you can get it at walmart and if you get the matte one it is the most bestest option you can find as far as coverage at walmart in my opinion if you really want heavy heavy coverage it takes about two coats honestly i kind of like for my freckles to show through a little bit so i only use one thick coat but i mean it's thick enough you know to hide all the things i want to hide but to show all the things i want to show i have to use darker because I'm, I'm used I'm, I'm from the early 2000s where you were I don't know if any y'all were around then but you were like Maybelline mousse and you only did your face so like your face was like orange and your neck was white that's the era I come from <laughs> so I usually go in with tan makeup but I lighten it up later on 
by putting like some concealer and highlighting and contouring and stuff like that so it lightens up as you go but i i either do it this way or i go really pale i have an urban decay really really ivory color that sometimes when i don't feel like going i don't know is this jersey shore tan orange i don't know and when i don't feel like going all jersey shore like this <laughs> then i usually go for the ivory it just depends if i'm wearing long sleeves i'll try to go tanner because then it won't be such a contrast between my arms and my face i use this can't stop won't stop nyx it's like a concealer and i use it to highlight so i always highlight down my nose above my cupid's bow on my chin on my forehead like upside down triangle and then i do underneath my eyes all the way down to like my cheeks where they stop and then i go underneath my cheekbone and right under where it's hollow i go underneath my natural arch of my brow and that's always where i highlight and you can, i don't know why i can't i can't remember the science behind highlighting i think it's where you put like lighter shades where the sun or the lights would naturally hit your face i just know like it's playing around with like my features look totally different after i contour and highlight it's crazy but i just go in with the same beauty blender i use to do the rest of my face with and i just blend it out real good then i go in with this fit me powder it's the fit me powder that goes along with the fit me foundation i use it's really matte and i just edge the far out of my cheeks you see that i don't even blend it really good <laughs> i just edge the far out of it i think this is in true beige the color true beige the uh the foundation i use is light honey but i just go everywhere i didn't highlight so that would be around my nose at the bottom of my nose underneath my bottom lip my cheekbones and then around my forehead and then down in my neck area and my face to kind of frame my face like I said, I don't know the science behind it, but I do like change my features a lot or an, I should say enhance my features when I do my contour and highlight. And, and then I'm going in with some banana powder. This is also Maybelline, I believe. And I just go everywhere I put the concealer. So underneath my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead, above my cupid's bow, in the hollow of my cheeks, and on my chin. I've done my makeup like this for years. So it's kind of second nature to me. I kind of just go with the flow and know where to put things as I do it. I don't have to think much about it anymore but when you first start you have to kind of remember where to put the highlight and stuff like that and it's based on everybody's faces so like the where I put highlight on my face if you don't have my face shape won't be where you put highlight on yours exactly but you get like the idea right like wherever the light would touch you would just put your highlight and stuff and then you can do it like this too to change your facial features if you want to but this is the banana powder i use and it's awesome you're supposed to let it bake like apple pie <laughs> for a few minutes i usually end up doing it for a minute and then I, i'm ready to get it off there because my attention span is that of a squirrel and so then i go in with this dollar tree eyeshadow palette yeah this dollar tree eyeshadow palette that i've had so long that the letters have rubbed off of it it's probably not safe but i go in with it and just a random whichever brush i decide to use that day and i fill in my eyebrows i just follow my natural shape in my eyebrows i don't tweeze or pluck my eyebrows or get them done or anything that's just too high maintenance for me and i can't keep something like that up and then they would start looking like a big old like i don't know caterpillar on my face and then i'd have to go in and bush hog it and it would be a whole thing and so i just follow the natural shape in my eyebrow i already have sort of an arch there so i just follow it and then i fill in areas where my hairs get really sparse and stuff and then i don't go in and like conceal out like you would see in other makeup tutorials when they have their brows really done nicely they'll go in and go in with concealer all around the eyebrow i don't do that i just put concealer on the bottom where my arch is just to enhance that already there arch if that makes sense and i try to always make my eyebrows the same but uh, you know they're not twins they're sisters and, and therefore they're probably um I, i'd say they're half sisters because they don't even look similar enough to be called sisters honestly <laughs> but i try to just make them at least the same shape because then you can't tell and here's where i put the concealer in just on the arch i don't do it anywhere else i rarely ever do anything else to my eyebrows so never hardly ever do i use this stuff right here but i felt just fancy i was like oh i'm gonna use this and so i used the maybelline brow gel and the sephora brow highlight and i took the brush from the highlight this one because i liked it better and i just kind of gently put it some gel on it not a whole lot and then gently just brush through my eyebrows it's just really to 
basically okay it's like polyacrylic if you know what i'm saying <laughs> like you know when you do a diy project and you put the polyacrylic on it and it seals it it's kind of like that it seals it for a while and it just kind of keeps it in its place and the eyeshadow doesn't rub off or anything which i rarely have a problem with the eyeshadow rubbing off of my eyebrows i don't know why but it hardly ever does that so i don't usually have a problem with that but i just felt like doing a little something something extra and i just put a little bit of brow gel on there i went in with these scandal eyes and i just very lightly you can barely see it went at the lash line because i was going to do false eyelashes and so i wanted to have color there at the bottom that way if i missed any areas because i'm prone to missing areas when it comes to me putting on eyelashes that you wouldn't be able to see like my light skin there it would have a little bit of like depth to it so you would see that itty bitty like light black line so here I'm trying them out, seeing they're too long. I'm cutting them up. <laughs> then I put the glue on it, let it get tacky, and once it's tacky, you can put them on your eyelash line. Don't stick them directly to your eyelashes, or when you pull them, you'll pull some of your eyelashes out, and that hurts, let me tell you. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I almost always accidentally put some part of it on my eyelashes. But then, I mean, you'll see, I'm really bad at putting on eyelashes. They look good from far away, but they're always flying. If, if a fan gets in my face, or, or I roll down a window, like, it's, it's flying it's almost flying away it's trying to get it's trying to get away so i do everything backwards you're supposed to do your eyes actually first before you do any of your face i do my eyes afterwards because i like to fix my mistakes after they're made so i can put on my eyelashes see where i messed up and hide it with eyeliner <laughs> and you're not supposed to do that way you're supposed to do it completely the opposite but that's how i do it then i go in with lime life by alcone um they're fiber mascara i just one of my cousins was selling it and i wanted to help her out so i bought some of it it's okay i like it um but i mean i would put it against you know some of maybelline's mascara because maybelline has really good mascara i almost always wear eyeliner on the bottom line lid area what's that called bottom waterline there we go but I didn't this time. I just wanted simple because I wanted the focus to be on the fall colors of my eyeshadow and my lips. So I just did a light coat of mascara, went in and highlighted with this Bobbi Brown. I love this stuff. This stuff is awesome. Highlight and makes your face pop. If you don't do nothing else, highlight it. Like with highlighter, not like highlight with the, with the concealer like we did earlier, but like with actual highlighter, it looks so pretty. I go back in and highlight the corner of my eyes too because I forgot to do that. I'm lining my lips with this kind Kylie uh, lip liner from the Kylie lip kit. I can't remember what color this is, but there's several different colors. This is a more taupey color, I guess you could say. It's brown, tannish color. And then I'm going with this Anastasia Beverly Hills thing I found at Ross. And I think it's Dread. Is that the name of it? I think it's Dread. Okay, so now that I have my makeup done, I'm going to do my hair off camera. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet, but I will show you guys the complete look, the finished look, whenever I get done. So I got my makeup on. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing before I head off to the Dollar Tree, because we're going to go pick up some things Annie's to decorate her little area with for fall, because she don't have a whole lot. Don't mind the mess. Y'all know I, I, I'm trying to hurry, so I, I would have picked it up right away if I wasn't hurried either. We're not going to lie, <laughs> but, but this is what I'm wearing. Got this from Nanny. It's from Kato. This is from like two years ago or last year. Kato got a undershirt to cover the front butt and then leggings from Target. I don't shop at Target, but one of you guys convinced me to go on Target to look for buttery soft leggings and I found some. There's not a Target within I don't know how many miles of me that I know of. We're going to go to Dollar Tree now to see what they got for fall decor wise. Because I really want to make Nanny's little thing um, in her dining room. I really want to make it really pretty. And she's been struggling with her mantle. She called me earlier and told me that. So we're going to see if we can make it pretty for her.
I'm gonna call Nanny real quick and see what color she's wanting because I know she likes a lot of white, but I think she's wanting orange too after she saw the orange in my house. She wants orange. I knew she would the minute she saw my stuff. She wants orange. so much cute fall decor i wish i had went there before i went anywhere else next year i will i learned my lesson when it comes to the seasons i'm gonna check out the new dollar tree plus because i was blown away non-fall stuff i found these dipping dots children multivitamins the dipping dots caught my attention and i was like holy moly there's only 10 but i got them so that we can try them because they looked like the kiddos would like them pumpkin seeds because fall time found this pizza sauce and i also found some prego sauce i found the classic prego spaghetti sauce and the classic alfredo sauce that was a win i also didn't know that dollar tree carries stuff like this i had seen some of the contact paper before but i had never seen the backsplash like this and i was blown away some of it actually looked legit the rocks kind of look a little funky i was impressed with the other ones i really was I got Nanny uh, some of these hand wipes too. Yeah. Cause she loves these whenever she goes to the store, she wipes off the buggies with them. They look very pretty today. Yeah. Like gorgeous. I can pick them. You got it right one time. Matters. One time, Not there's no bim. <laughs> like none. Well, Close what that. do you call your personalities? <laughs> <laughs> Face. Oh, I, see the... I got my thing on that. You got me. Oh. 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 Hello. You did, you got right in. Look at the truck, Where'd you find that right there? The Dollar Tree. You didn't get this mm -hmm. at the Dollar Tree. Look, I got you some of these too. They're uh, hand wipes. Hand sanitizer wipes, swap off your buggy. Thank you, honey. Oh, Lorena, look at that. How adorable. You get these at the Dollar Tree? Yes. See, except I got stuff like this. Yes. Oh my lord. Wait till you see this, okay? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh, it's orange. It's red orange. Look at that. Oh, I can, I can do it forever. I can do it forever, can't I? Yep. Oh, Rin, I love it. See, I got you red and orange to kind of, you know. Oh, I love, oh, what? I love that. Another truck just like this one. I love that, Rainy. You didn't get this at the Dollar yeah. Tree. It's your red and your orange. Oh, it does. Isn't it? I don't know if it matches. Because you said that, that you wanted to still have your red in here. Oh, oh how pretty. I love it. And you're that right. Thing. He hasn't got me nothing any better than these trucks. Right. Look at that. Right. So how many did you get, baby? You got orange little plates. Ooh, Rainy. Oh. Oh, ain't that adorable? Look at my little house, darling. Look at this, huh? Oh, I thought I knew you would love this. You ready? Okay. <laughs> Another truck. Ain't that cute? That's for fall. Hey, it's adorable. I love these trucks, baby. Fresh apple. All right, let me show you what Nanny's done so far on her mantle. She don't like it. I love it. It looks good. She's had that there since last year. <laughs> She's basically already decorated for fall because she's had that stuff over there since last year. But this is her mantle. I think she done good. She's got the pops of orange in there. And she's got the whites and the greens. Look at what pumpkin you got me. Hello, pumpkin. Yeah, I like 
that, man. She's got that right there. Here's the rest of the stuff that we have to get put up. And then she got her little pumpkins. <laughs> Those are from last year. And then these two are from this year. This has been this way since I fixed it for her last time. <laughs> she wanted to keep her Christmas uh, stuff out. So we have a mixture of Christmas. And then I got her some of this because I was wanting her to do like, you know, not have to keep her Christmas things up all year round because the only reason she's keeping these out all year round is because they have the red in them that she likes so I was in Hobby Lobby one day and I saw all the strawberries and I was like oh that would be really pretty summer decor so there's summer and there's Christmas but I'm hope I'm trying to get her to the point to where she'll have a whole set for summer a whole set for fall and a whole set for winter that way she can decorate it however she wants to with the different seasons. I got this from Hobby Lobby too and it looks really pretty hung up on there. We kind of got like the strawberry plate and the strawberry. This is actually a soap dispenser but it looks cute here. And then we got the these two salt and pepper shakers here. And then the cup and the plate. This is can be year round. Christmas ones is actually a Pioneer Woman set. A Christmas set that I found at Walmart for her birthday last year. So we've kind of just got it all on here right now because she didn't have a whole lot of red stuff to put on there. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna take a picture of it like this in case she wants to put back her Christmas and summer stuff if she don't wanna do fall. Nanny does what she wants to do. So it, it don't matter if it's if it's December. If she wants her summer stuff up, she's gonna put her summer stuff up. I'm gonna take a picture of this real quick uh, so that we can remember how it is because she likes it this way. And then I'll start redecorating stuff. Okay, so all of this is from the Dollar Tree except for that, which I got Nanny for her birthday last year. Um, this down here, I got that Ross and I quit using it and Nanny had a fit over it. And then I think other than that, everything else is Dollar Tree. Oh, and that bowl. Nanny already had that uh, red plaid bowl. But even the lots, the garland lots, were from the Dollar Tree. And those are nice. I wish I had hit up Dollar Tree before I went shopping for all my fall decor. I thought this flowed really well with that red plaid bowl because Nanny loves her red plaid bowls and that can be versatile for like Christmas, summer, or fall. So I just added some pumpkins yeah, there. Nanny <laughs> said they'll be there till next year. I just added some pumpkins there to fall it up. And then mm -hmm. um, just whatever was left because we ran out of lights, I put the rest of the garland down there and added those things down there. 
Over here, I haven't even taken another price tags off yet, but over here I put this floral, this fall floral, and this that we got from the Dollar Tree. These bowls and those cups and these plates, all, like I said, everything from the Dollar Tree, but I can't get over those bowls and stuff from the Dollar Tree. Those were just a dollar twenty-five. Stuff like this was a little bit more expensive. I know this was five dollars, and this was a dollar. Can't remember how much that was. But it wasn't expensive at all, and it was so that was worth it. That was worth every penny because Nanny loves oh, her trucks. This flows so well with her red plaid because she's got her red plaid throughout her dining room, and it just flows so well with it. You like it, Nanny? Oh, where we go put our pumpkins? But you wanted me to go over here and see if they look oh, good on yeah. the thing. I had to put my hair up because I was sweating. Sweating like a hippo on a scale. So we got this garland still. This was only $3 for the Dollar Tree. And it's so freaking cute. So I don't know. It's more of a yellow tone though than the rest of Nanny's oranges. So I don't know if we're going to find anywhere for it or not. We'll figure it out. Do I think you're what? Bang. Too low, too high? Too, too low, too oh, high. Oh, how pretty. Oh, look at that. I love them. What do you think, Dwight? I love them. Oh, oh, they're big. 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 It's busting like my honey out of a girdle, but it fits. Have a good day. That's you, man. Say, Lord. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> So, Shane. What's up? Wants to eat in the car. What's up? I was going to go home and Tell him why. Because <laughs> he said I looked really pretty, and he knows the minute we walk in the door, I'm going to get in jammies. Mm-hmm. It's true. We're gonna eat in the car and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna plan some mint. We're waiting on our food to be done right now. Would you rather be smack dab in the middle of 10,000 people shoulder to shoulder or watch a 30 minute compilation of people puking? I don't do throw up. But you also don't do crowds. Ah! <laughs> That's the, that's the point of the question. Can I close my eyes during the compilation? Because no, you have to watch it. Uh, how long will I be in the crowd? Um, two hours. No, forget it. I'll watch puke compilations. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! 
Y'all, we got Italian Should donuts, and they come with the chocolate sauce. Right, I'm moving this. Are you moving this? Yeah. This chocolate sauce? It's like ganache or whatever. Don't know what it's called, but it is so good. But it's a lot of calories, so you gotta eat it moderately. We are going to call if it. If you're on a diet. And Shane, while I sit over here and eat my Italian donuts, is parking me right in front of Planet Fitness. This is Belk. Planet Fitness. But we got the chocolate sauce, and then right here, let me show you these donuts. If you ever go to Olive Garden, get you some of these Italian donuts. They're covered in like powdered sugar. They're covered in dough. Oh, like I could eat my weight in them, but we're not going to do that today. We got the salad with the oh, signature yeah. Italian dressing and croutons. Why didn't we just go in and eat, you want to ask? Well, it's because Marina That's not how has, we roll. Marina has a phobia of inside restaurants. Olive Garden. Because you don't like how they They are seat. so close together. This is With Shane's. With the chicken and the broccoli. <laughs> and then I got the Asiago. Montego. I don't know what Calm it's down. It's the Asiago or whatever. And it's got like, it, it's supposed to be aged cheese. And it tastes, it tastes, it tastes aged like it. You gotta have it. It ages like milk. You gotta have it in small increments. So we're starting off with our first course, which for me is gonna be the donuts. <laughs> now, see, for me, that's. I can't do that. I gotta save the dessert for last. You do? Yeah. My salad. I wanna eat my donuts while they're hot. That's that's my thing. I'm just. I don't think I'm feeling that Italian dressing right yes, now. Yes, so you I, are. I think I'm gonna take that home and slap some Old Charlie's Ranch on that stuff. This. Is what it looks like. It's got powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And then you're supposed to dip them in the chocolate sauce. This is what you do. You dip it in there. Mm. Oh, dang it. Did you pray? Mm. Pray. Oh, I'm sorry. Amen. That took willpower to not eat that because it tasted so good. Oh, if I had known that was in there i would have made that prayer i i would have i would have been like doing some priest of the tabernacle praying <laughs> right there <laughs> would you rather have a personal maid or a personal chef i'm gonna say maid you know why yeah. because ain't nobody cook like you i gotta have your food that's just how it is straight up what's it called when the kidnapper uh, gets the person used to him Stockholm You've Syndrome. You've got Stockholm Syndrome. You just got used to the food. <laughs> Would you rather be 11 foot tall or 9 inches tall? <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to pick. 9 inches. I'd be Why a fairy. Would I get wings? No. Picture yourself trying to like, use the toilet and you fall in every time. <laughs> Would you rather be an extra? Would you rather vomit on your hero or have your hero vomit on you? I ain't going to puke on Jesus. <laughs> My hero don't throw up. Would you rather lounge by the pool or yeah. on the beach? I know this one. What? The beach. Yeah. It's true. Would you rather wear the same socks for a month? I feel like I do this. Or the same underwear for a week. I feel like you do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are you roasting me? Why are you counting my underwear too? That's weird. Would you rather work an overnight shift with your annoying boss or spend full day with your mother-in-law? Spend full day with my mother-in-law. You're so sweet. <laughs> we get along now. Would you rather always have body odor and not know it or always smell body odor on <laughs> everyone else? Smell it because I'm terrified of stinking. <laughs> Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 20, 20 minutes early. I know this one. You can't stand to be late. Would you rather always have a full phone battery or a full gas tank? Full gas tank? Heck yeah. Would you rather lose all your teeth or lose a day of your life every time you kissed someone? Lose all my teeth. <laughs> drink from a toilet or pee in a litter box? Pee in a litter box? That would be funny. I ain't above looking a little weird to avoid drinking out of a toilet. Would you rather be forced to live the same day over and over again for a full year or take three years off the end of your life? Do I get to pick what day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> what was that? You looked like a llama. <laughs> well, I only ate half my food. I feel like that's a given. You just pick a, a really good day and just keep living it for a whole year. I mean, that would be hard, I'll but that's that. better than I'll taking three years off. We'll see y'all at the house when we get into the cement. I feel like we need to explain. We're doing, did I already explain to y'all? I've explained it to so many people. We're doing a holding hand statue kind of thing. All right, you ready? No. My dogs hear me out here, so they're having a fit. But so I planted cucumbers and accidentally grew okra. But I talked to a few guys over on Instagram, and you guys said to go ahead and pluck it now, but. Wow. That I happened. The whole plant out of the thing. Help me, Shane. Well, okra well, looks right. I harvested it. Help me. She's an international harvest. I'm an international harvester. All right, hold up. Pluck it. Make sure you. I'm covered. And I only got half my okra. Oh, you're not eating it? You're supposed to eat it. No, not right away. Clean it. You know how many bugs have probably been like pooping and peeing on this? That's stuff? not gonna feed us all. <laughs> Do you get a slipper? Do you get a slipper? I'm already in my jammies. This is the hand casting kit by Dylan and Riley. I need to cut my fingernails. I got Shane, I got Shane this for like a Father's Day or something like that. It's really, I got it for both of us. But I, I saw it on Amazon and I was like, oh, that's really cool. I've never seen nothing like that before. Say hi to the peoples. You're going to make the mold, pour the casting in it, and then that's what creates that. Does it have an option on how to open the thing? We've got premium alginate molding powder, premium stone casting powder, practice casting powder, practice alginate molding powder, a shawl or a trash bag, sandpaper. What are we starting with? A knife. <laughs> they just tried to put a great value knife in there. I feel yeah. like they just put random stuff in here. A safety pin. Tater quit gnawing on my heel. This thing really wasn't as hard as the manual made it out to be. So it came with like a molding powder. You mix the molding powder. You spray your hands with some moisturizer. We had SPF, so that's all we used. And then whatever you're going to do, like whether you're going to hold each other's hand or whether you're going to do a peace sign, whatever, you're going to dip your hand very carefully down in there, and you're going to leave it for 10 minutes. <laughs> that was the hardest part. You can imagine, my mind was everywhere. But after 10 minutes, it hardens up like this. You start to wiggle your fingers and let air pockets in, and then you can just easily pull your hand out of there. It is the wildest thing I can't believe it had done that in 10 minutes, but you can just easily pull your hands out after you start wiggling it. Then you make the cement part, so you just pour the, that powder, this is what you gotta wear the mask and the gloves for, but you pour it into a couple of cups of water, mix it up real good, and then pour it in that molding area where you had your hands. And you like pour a little bit and then you shake it so that all the bubbles get out and you pour a little bit, shake it, and repeat that. You have to let that sit for four hours though, <laughs> which was a long time. Shane and I literally sat in an alarm because we fell asleep. But then you like start separating it around. You pop it out like this. Look how easy. Look. <laughs> and this is the funnest part. Getting it out of the molding kit stuff was so fun. This stuff was like play-doh slash gelatin and it was really fun to like peel it away it was super satisfying but then you had to go in with a little pick and they also gave you that little pin that i showed you and that's to get in the really really hard to reach crevices but i couldn't get over it even showed like my wrinkles on my hand like my nails i'm glad i cut my nails it would look like shan was holding on to talons <laughs> by far the coolest thing we have ever done as far yeah. as like craft wise yeah highly highly recommend it wasn't that hard the hardest part was holding our hands still for 10 <laughs> minutes that yeah. was literally the hardest part thank y'all for hanging honest. out with us i hope you guys have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more <laughs> jesus loves you more i'll see y'all later